are about to turn corn on the cob into popcorn on the cob. I don't hear anything. Whoa! Whoa! Did you hear that? It's popping. It's popping. Uh, now wow. you have unlimited chocolate. Wow. Look at that. This is so good. Oh my. This is what? actually so good. Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. So I know what you guys are thinking. Why are we not posting on a Sunday? And why are we posting a video on a Thursday? And that's because we're hitting you guys with a bonus YouTube video. So we stumbled across some cool food hacks that we're gonna be testing out in today's video. So we thought, why not just record ourselves trying these food hacks for you guys instead of just doing it and not recording it. In reality, it's just an excuse for us to both eat and not feel as bad. Yeah, so why not make a YouTube video out of it? So be sure to give this video a like if you're excited to see some of these very interesting food hacks we're about to try. Okay, so for the first food hat, it looks like there's gummy bears involved and nerds. So you pour, pour the nerds in a bowl and then put the gummy bears inside a cup and warm it up in the microwave for a minute. And then you put the melted gummy worms on the nerds and you make like gummy worm nerd sticks. That looks so delicious. It looks like a really yummy oh my dessert, gosh. like I, a nice treat. I'm hungry, let's try this out right now. Okay, so first step, get the nerds and pour it inside of a plate. There we go. The next step is put the gummy bears inside of a cup. Let's just do all red for this one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. After you have all the gummy bears inside of the cup, microwave it for one minute. Here we go. Now we just wait. Hopefully the microwave doesn't explode or anything like that. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Look at that. It's starting to like overflow. What's going on? I'm like scared. Just, it might explode. Let's oh wait. The Should we just open it before it, it's like yeah. going, yeah, all yeah. Oh, it's going all the way to the top? Look at it. Look at oh that. My gosh, it's so cool. Whoa, that's awesome. Should I, should I, oh no, I need it. I need a napkin. All right, all right. So next step, pour the melted gummy bears inside of the uh, nerd. Ooh, here we go. We got one right there. Another one right here. You know what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, so next step is to just sprinkle the nerds on top. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my goodness, this looks so good already. After you put the nerds on top of the gummy bears, I let it sit for like a few seconds just so it kind of like sticks onto it fully. All right, I'm tasting mine and you taste yours, okay? Look at this. Yes. This, this looks so good. Let's test it out. Come All right. On. This is so good. Oh my, this is what? actually so good. I've never had anything this good in my life. I'm sorry if I'm talking my mouth full. It is so good. Mm -hmm. What would you give that taste test out of 10? For a dessert, I would give it like a nine and a half out of 10. All right, so now let's try out some more of these food hacks. All right, so for this next food hack, we're gonna be showing you guys how to get unlimited chocolate. So it looks like you just cut it on the top half of it, top left corner, and then you do like a diagonal into the first piece of the chocolate. Remove the first two. That's cool. Whoa. Wait, how does how does that even? Okay. Wow. So there's an extra piece now. Yeah. So you okay. can just keep doing that up until you have unlimited pieces of chocolate. All right. So first step, you want to take a knife and cut it from this point to this point right here. Okay. There we go. Perfect. All, All right. right. So now what you want to do is you want to cut from here to here. There we go. Final step, you want to cut these two pieces in half. There we, there go. we go. Whoa, right in the middle. Now what you want to do, you want to rearrange the chocolate like this. First, take these two pieces like that, and then you shift this down like that, and then you take the piece on the bottom and you put it right here, and now voila. you have unlimited chocolate. Wow. Look at that. That's an extra piece. Look at that. So basically, you can just keep repeating this and you can just have unlimited chocolate. It's a hack that no one wants you to know, but um, hey, we'll just keep it a secret between us and you guys. So yeah, try this out if you want unlimited chocolate. Definitely a good food hack, I would recommend it. Have you ever tried to dip your Oreos inside a glass of milk but couldn't quite reach the milk? Well, today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a simple solution to that. In this video right here, all you need is some Oreos and a fork, and you place the fork in between the stuffing of the Oreo, and then, voila, you can Dip it in your milk. Well, you know, I wish I would've known that before I went through all that trouble. This is so much easier. Wow, here, let me give it a shot. And there you go. You can just dip it in the milk. Wow, look at this right here. That's so good. Mm. Wait, or if you don't want to waste milk, you can just get a tiny bowl and just dip it in a bowl. So this method works, but there's obviously, obviously like way easier ways to do it. Mm. Let me try one. Wait. Oops. I don't want it. I wanted one more. We're out of milk too I now. I know. We're out of milk. All right. Now we have to move on. Have you ever wanted to eat wings but not get your hands dirty? Well, today we're going to be showing you guys exactly how to do that. Um, apparently, if you eat your wings with a hair clip, you won't get your hands dirty. I can't imagine like an easier way to um, not get your hands dirty from eating wings. But, um, but yeah, I feel like if you're out on a date and you want to impress your date, you can just take out your hair clip and just start eating wings <laughs> like that. And they're going to be like, whoa, like I, I didn't never know about met this. someone like I'm this. Impressed 
that you have so much intelligence. So right here, we have some wings. We have these beautiful hair clips right here. There we go. Boom, boom. Oh, whoa, look at this. Police. Look at that. Nothing dirty, but you're just your lips. Just you may be getting some sauce on your lips, but. Look, look, look how clean my hands are. Yeah, his hands are clean. He could. And you just ruined it. Oh wait, or you can just put clip one in and just eat it like this. This is good. Like this. So this is a pretty useful food hack, but I just feel like the whole point of eating wings is getting your hands messy. Like I feel like everyone knows that. So I don't know how I feel about this one. So in our past life hacks, we showed that it was possible to make popcorn using a hair flattening iron with unpopped popcorn. So today we have this piece of dry corn on the cob and we're gonna be putting it in the microwave. And apparently when you put it in there, you're supposed to pop into like, you know, actual popcorn. Exactly, so, yeah. All right. So so we're gonna put the corn in the cob in here. And we are going to warm it up for, how long should we warm it up for? I, hopefully nothing explodes. Oh, oh, wait, I hear it, it's popping. I don't hear anything. Whoa, whoa, oh, look, did popping. you hear that? It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. Yeah. I'm actually scared. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> no, some of it. popcorn on it. Whoa. Some of it popped. Oh, it's not fully popped. See, look, you can still tell. Look at it. This isn't, oh. th it didn't fully pop. So, wow. There's a few rifles. Or, do you want to try it or I'm scared to try this one? Oh, it tastes, it's, it's okay, it's not really it's kind of seasoned, but I mean, it works. Yeah. Okay, so apparently you can microwave mac and cheese. Why are we just now finding out about it? <laughs> but yeah, so this is going to be really good for us because we only know how to microwave food. So yes, exactly. So this will be very useful for us. So basically you pour um, some unmade mac and cheese in a bowl, put milk inside of it and put cheese, shredded cheese, mix it together, microwave it. And looks like you have some uh, mac and cheese. This is really good for like sleepovers when you're over at your friend's house and you don't want to get the stove dirty or like, or like waking the frying pan. You just want to microwave stuff. But yeah, here, let's give it a shot. Um, so we have the bowl and then we have our mac, mac and cheese. cheese. Elbows, pour it in. Like that. And then we're going to add water to it. Now let's uh, microwave this. Here we go. Okay, so it is now ready. Oh, there we go. Look yeah, this is ready. But the mac and cheese itself is not yet ready. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to add some milk to it. I know, bear with me. And we're gonna eat some mac and cheese cereal. All right, All give, right, me, right give me that. Right. <laughs> Don't do that. That was nasty. And now we're just gonna put some shredded cheese inside of it. I'm just gonna add some shredded cheese oh, in here. That might be too much. My. I know, mm. too much cheese is not a thing. Mix it around a little bit. And uh, basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna re-microwave it now. And this is just for more of like like a creamier, tastier mac and cheese. So now we're just gonna re-microwave it. All right, after a minute and a half, it is now ready and delicious. Oh my gosh, it smells oh. so good. Look at Look it. Look at this. It actually smells so good. I'm gonna eat this right now. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, get, I get first bites. Taste test it. Go. All right, all right, all right. All right. Mm. Is it that good? All right, I'm, it's I'm actually good. It. Oh my gosh, here we go. This is good. Let me eat it. Let me eat the rest of it, Alan. Let me eat it. Let me eat it. Alan, no, let me no, eat no. it, please. So there you have it, guys. Homemade mac and cheese. Mm. All right, so for this food hack, it looks like they're trying to teach us how to eat ramen noodles the right way. Apparently, we've been eating it wrong our whole lives. <laughs> what is this? So it looks like you just cut a fork off and you put it on the front of a spoon, and then that we can drink the soup. So you have a fork, a fapoon, a fapoon. <laughs> yeah. So you, it's a fork glued to the front of it, so it is fapoon, fork, spoon, fapoon. Okay, so for this food hack, you're gonna need a fork, a spoon, a pair of scissors, and some pretty strong glue. Okay, so. First things first, you're gonna wanna cut the head of the fork off like this. Oh, okay. I found my phone too. Wow, that's not good. And then glue it underneath it. A little more. Wait, don't get don't get any glue in the noodles. Oh, oh yeah, 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 let's not get any glue in the noodles. Oh, okay, someone picked that up. So after you successfully cut the fork off, you wanna put the hot glue or super glue on this part of the fork, and then you just smash this. Oh, like this, like this. Here you we know go. what? Give me some duct tape. You make that, I'll make my own. Well, I have come up with a better solution. Yeah. All right, this this was a fail for me. Like, this is not working out. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's a lot easier. If you have tape, just tape it up. Look at this. This is like, this is a lot easier, huh? All right, give it a try. Now you can eat oh it and have oh soup in it. My wow. Gosh. My mind is blown. Where has this invention been all my life? Did we just invent something? And how does it taste? 
It's that's good. That's good. That's so good. So, uh, um, I'm gonna be honest here. Now that I think of it, this isn't really an invention because don't they sell like sports? So like. This is kind of pointless now that I think of it. But I mean, if you don't have any sporks laying around your house and you want to eat ramen noodles the hard way, you can just use this life hack. Honestly, I didn't know that the food hacks were actually gonna turn out this good. Yeah, like so yeah, if that was the same for you guys, be sure to give this video a like and be sure to comment down below your favorite food hack. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. All right, uh, we'll see you guys on Sunday.